I think that it's, uh, um, it would be terrible to limit the rewards of honor simply to morality, simply to moral behavior. As I, as I think of it, uh, honor is important as one of the mechanisms for re rewarding academic ex excellence in my own field. I think honorary degrees are a useful institution for uh, helping to motivate people to do these things and to show what we value in the academy, what kinds of work we value. So these honor here sustains things, even though writing a great uh, novel or a great uh, work of social science is not a moral achievement. And indeed, it's perfectly consistent with being a bad person morally. Uh, still, we should reward, I believe, uh, such behavior with honor. So I don't want to limit, I don't think we should limit honor to uh, moral excellence. I think we should use it to reward all kinds of excellence. But we certainly shouldn't use honor to reward the opposite of excellence in any domain. It would be weird to honor uh, each year the person who comes last in the US Open. Uh, and I think it's weird to honor uh, the people who perform in, in shows like the Jersey Shore uh, who have uh, achieved nothing of any uh, re human significance except a kind of fame uh, which one should probably better call notoriety. So now is that new? Absolutely not. Uh, so, uh, there have been lots of uh, forms of notoriety in the past which led to a kind of respect, uh, negative uh, respect for doing something spectacularly bad for example, uh, Dick Turpin, who was an English, um, basically, highwayman and robber. Well, he was a famous fellow. Uh, and, uh, you know, people were sort of, ex people would have been excited to shake his hand, no doubt, if they knew that they were shaking it uh, when he wasn't pointing a pistol at them and asking for their wallets. Um, so, yeah, we, 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 we human beings are like that. We, there's a kind of frisson that comes from hanging out with spectacularly bad people or even uh, sort of, spectacularly tacky people, which is really what the, uh, what the Jersey Shore is about. And I should say, though, that I think that it's clear that while those people are getting a um, certain amount of notoriety and some money, no doubt, uh, from what they're doing, a lot of the response to them is, in fact, condescension. And uh, they are, people take pleasure, as a kind of schadenfreude, taking pleasure in people making fools of themselves while apparently not realizing it, or making fools of themselves in order to achieve something that's really not worth the price of making a fool of yourself. And in that sense, I think it's kind of manipulative and unpleasant to be doing that to those people, and the sin is not so much theirs as, as the sin of those who are doing it to them and those who are taking their nasty pleasure in watching it.